Sometimes you just spend a little bit too much time on Twitter and sometimes you see a take that makes you go, all right, that's enough Twitter for today. But especially when it comes to Dead by Daylight and replies under the official Dead by Daylight account, it's very, very noticeable. Like, are you kidding me? You do not think that Save the Best for Last is a crutch perk? Or you don't think that Distortion should be nerfed into the ground because it's so unfair to Kidder players? Like, obviously when I say this, I'm memeing, but there's clearly people out there that definitely believe these takes. And it can kind of be hard to understand, like, why we clearly see that these takes are so ridiculous while well, there's people out there that genuinely believe this kind of stuff i think it's very easy to explain actually like i think it comes down to personal experiences and bias and also a little bit of ignorance and the things you see or don't see both in matches but also on the internet and i think that's okay really because when i say ignorance i don't mean it in an insulting way and i'm not natively english but i often feel like the word ignorance gets viewed as like as an insult basically but i don't think it always has to be like i think everyone is a little bit ignorant about something at least i think that's just okay now don't take this the wrong way but i think especially in the dead by daylight community it's very important to sit back take a deep breath and actually look at what the other person said try to see like what kind of viewpoint they're in and actually try to understand what they're saying and why they're saying it so as an example right let's take a certain perk in particular let's say barbecue and chili this used to be the most used killer perk in the entire game like you'd see it almost every single match so just in case you don't know what it used to do so when you hooked a survivor every other survivor that was further than 40 meters from you would have their aura revealed to you but that's not the main reason that people used to run it because it would also give you double the blood points in the entire match if you manage to hook all four of these survivors in the game thinking back about it that was kind of crazy wasn't it because if you didn't run it that would mean that you'd have to play like twice the amount of games just to get the same amount of blood points at the end i remember i felt almost forced to use it because i didn't want to miss out on that many blood points and start to mess with builds because the effect of barbecue wasn't even that great in the first place yet almost every time dead by daylight tweeted there would be people under the main post replying about how OP barbecue was and how it should be nerfed and how it's in every game so it must be overpowered. A lot of people just couldn't wrap their heads around why people were saying this and me at first as well I was like what are you talking about it's super easy to counter just hop into a locker just sit behind the generator aura like I don't see the problem really but then if you really think about it it's not even that weird people wanted it nerfed it was just for the wrong reasons even behavior themselves has made this like mistake in the past where they were just looking at the wrong data like just imagine you're a survivor player you're never on youtube you don't watch streamers you just play dead by daylight and every single game you see every single killer running the single perk barbecue and chili you must believe that this is just really strong because otherwise why would people run this every single match if you thought about it from that angle then it wouldn't even be that far-fetched to think that barbecue was overpowered especially if you didn't know that it would also gave the blood point bonus and if you disagree with this like let's be real for a second how many barbecue cues have you actually seen since it got nerfed and got the plot point bonus taken away personally i felt like a curse got lifted off my shoulders because in the past i used to feel like i just have three perk slots available because the fourth one would always go to barbecue and it just felt kind of frustrating because i just didn't want to lose out on that many blood points in terms of what i meant when i said that behavior also kind of made the same mistake before let's think back about the time they implemented mmr they only really looked at the raw data like oh you looped the killer for five generations and your whole team got out of life but you died at the very end well too bad you suck i guess you lose mmr anyways you remember all those ridiculous funny arguments that i made at the very beginning of the video you don't think that distortion should be nerfed into the ground you do not think that save the best for last is a crutch perk i think those started to form the same way as these opinions about barbecue and chili started to form like there's obviously always going to be meta perks and when they get nerfed other perks will start to show up and then they will become the meta perks and then they will look overpowered or overused. I just want to say that you'll probably start seeing other perks more now and you'll probably see more people on Twitter now saying those perks are too strong. Like take Save the Best for Last, for example. Don't get me wrong though, I do think Save the Best for Last is like a very solid perks and it's probably one of my favorite perks on certain killers, but I don't think it's even close to being overpowered. I can see why people would think that if they suddenly start to see it a lot in their matches. I guess what I'm trying to say is just think about things a little 
little bit more before you come to a conclusion like are things actually overpowered are they actually too strong or are people running them for a specific reason like think about barbecue and chili for example also this is a topic for a completely different video but i'd much rather have behavior above certain playstyles than that they nerf something completely into the ground and make it unusable because that happens way too much with behavior i actually think this used to be a huge issue with the game like i don't know if you guys remember but like 90 percent of all perks used to be like laughably useless like you would never ever take them into the game except for like 10 maybe 15 perks that you'd see everywhere like could you imagine anyone running old lucky break fortunately they buffed that to a place where it's really really solid now in my opinion anyways they're doing that with more and more perks to where more perks become actually usable instead of being useless i genuinely think they've been doing a really good job with that because it's so interesting seeing so much build variety instead of always seeing the same four or like five perks on every survivor and killer i do think the game has other issues though for example how long does it take to fill in a blood web that shit takes ages i don't think it should be necessary at all if you want to see why i think that i explain it right here in this video if you want to know and uh have a good day